Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, Encore. Last time we defeated Gojun and was able to escape the... Actually, what is that place? I mean, I know it's called Dai Tam, but it's just like a mirror version of it, but I, don't, I know they don't use the term mirror. Well, we escaped alternate reality Dai Tama and met the best character in the game. Maiko, and she told us about their secret organization of Mirage Masters and how they're there to just fight the evil Mirages and save humanity and also figure out what the hell happened at that play five years ago. Anyway, today we start the first chapter. Let's go. A Star is Born. Wasn't that the name of a movie that came out fairly recently? That everybody said was pretty damn good. Well, here we are. Oh yeah, also Toma, he was a Mirage Master too. That's how he knew like a lot about the place we were trapped in and uh, he helped us out in the boss fight. He's cool people. Looks more like an office than some kind of secret base. Well, yeah, it is an office. Ever heard of Fortuna Entertainment? Oh, I know, that's the production company that Kiria belongs to. Should have figured you'd know it, Subasa. But yeah, this is the Fortuna Entertainment Office. What? Really? You couldn't tell from the doors you walked through, or the signs on the wall, or the posters of their clients? Okay. But why was I brought to a place like this? Just a regular production company on the surface, but secretly a team of Mirage specialists and investigators. That's for Tune Entertainment. Oh, and I haven't told you guys yet, but this is the production company I've been working with. Why didn't you tell us about it? Uh, secret agent, hello? Yeah, you don't have to worry about telling us where you work. If I knew you were working at the same company as Kiria, I could have asked you to get me an autograph. Priorities. That's what you're angry about? Tsubasa, I kept my mouth shut because I knew this is how you'd react. Never mind all that, Toma. So, where's Kiria? She's so happy. So emotive, I love it. Oh, she's not here. Why not? Jeez, no, Masa, chill out. Kiri's pretty busy with work right now. Not only does she have a ton of work, she's got to get ready for that live performance, too. She's got her schedule worked out down to the minute. Even I haven't seen her in a while. Tsubasa, you okay? Yeah. Oh. Hyperventilating. Okay. Yep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well, I mean, she's not hyperventilating now. She's doing that to prevent herself from hyperventilating. What are you doing? Right now, I'm breathing the air that Kiria was breathing. Oh, I can die happy. Okay, uh... Well... Alright, th this is borderline fanaticism now, and that's... Kind of, uh... Not, 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 um, I, I would prefer she was just doing that to sort of keep calm, to prevent herself from hyperventilating, but, uh, no, we, we, we gotta go down this road. I know, right? Oh, right. There was someone I wanted you two to meet. Who's that? Eh, you'll see. They're waiting for you just past that door. Come on, Sabasa. Back to reality. Look, there's a bee rapidly. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not done enjoying the atmosphere yet. 
she needs help. She needs help. So yeah, this place is looking pretty, pretty nice. Also, do we have any new topics? Yeah, nothing new after all that. Um, all right then. Well, and then we can also check out some stuff too. Eateries and vending machines. Food and drinks from shops and vending machines will fully restore all HP and EP and cure all status ailments, including unconscious. That's powerful as shit. In addition, when cast members consume a food or a drink item they enjoy, it temporarily raises their luck stat. Note. A cast member cannot have multiple luck boosts from food or drink active at the same time. A few drinks to choose from. They each cost 160 yen. That's... Yeah, yeah, that's... That's about right for a vending machine. I love these names. Veggie Juice EX. Yeah, we don't need it. Well, actually... Oh, wrong button there. Yeah, they fully healed us anyway. Also, yay, her card! I mean, I don't make the rules. She's the best character, okay? I mean, she, she just is. We have Toma and Kane right there, Cavalier. We got the Pegasus Knight without her Pegasus. And of course, the Lord, which I believe I already showed off previously. So. Yeah, all right, whatever. Look, she even joined the pause screen too. She's so good. Okay. And over here, shelves span this wall. Seems like a logical place to display trophies. Play records and awards. Play records are logs of the things you have accomplished while playing, and awards are given based on completing certain combinations of play records. When you earn an award, its trophy will be added to these shelves for all to see. None of these affect the story. They exist merely to track your efforts and look back on fondly as your career blossoms. Kind of like achievements. That's my only one right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we, we got more. We got more. Uh, yeah, it's keep pose after winning a battle. Spasso joined the cast. Yeah, these are essentially achievements. Well, I say essentially. They literally are achievements. And of course, you got the story-based ones that everybody's going to get. And again, like, with trophies in um, PSN and Steam, or, well, achievements in Steam and achievements in uh, Xbox Live and stuff, you always see, like, the percentage of people that got, like, certain ones. And it's always hilarious where, like, out of all the people that own the game, like, you'll see, like, the very first story element thing, or, like, watch the opening credits, it'll be, like, 75% of players have received this. It's like, damn, so they just bought the game and didn't play? Which is a common thing, actually. You know, Steam sales and bundles and whatnot. So, uh, I guess it makes sense. But it's still funny to see. I don't know why I'm going through all of them. Am I really that vain? I mean, somewhat. Yeah, I, I won't make a habit out of this. I won't even go all the way down. <laughs> Admire trophies. I have none. I have none to admire. And watch videos. Yeah, you can just watch the cutscenes. It's a gallery mode. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm not going to go through all that. That's Best Girl's Desk. Documents are randomly scattered about, making it difficult for someone to find the materials they're looking for. And if you got a system in place, you can figure out where everything is. The article reads, was the secret behind Yasi or Yashiro Tsurugi, the cool actor. For five years, his father has been missing. Aww, it looks like these people are tied together by similar families. Fates, huh?
What is this place? How is a place like this in an office building? Okay, really, what the fuck? And back. Uh, how is a place like this in an office building? Mind blown, right? This place is for Mirage Masters and those with strong performa. Those chosen by fate. This place. There's something about it that feels oddly nostalgic. Yes, for me as well. I wonder why that is. Okay, yep. Seida, where have you been all this time? In your heart. She's been with you since we left the Idolosphere. You just couldn't see her. That's all. As long as they're in the Bloom Palace, though, they can go back to these physical forms. And here comes Tiki. Oh my god. Not the biggest fan of her. But of course she's going to be a popular Fire Emblem character because... Reasons. But still. Huh? Why do I feel as though I've met her before? Nino is the best child character in Fire Emblem and don't you forget it. Her story was fucking amazing. Like just bouncing back from all that shit and then you get the revenge on Sonya. It's so good. Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe you're making this little girl call you Big Brut. Wait a minute. I think I've seen her somewhere before. Can we continue on with that first part? Because, yeah, that is, that is a little worrisome. Oh my gosh. It's Tiki. The Udaloid. The virtual singer Tiki. It's like meeting Hatsune Miku in real life. There's the reaction I was waiting for. And don't accuse me of the creepy stuff. You noticed that first? I mean, yeah. Pretty... It's, 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 it's a red flag, my dude. No, you're, you're up here like Haiji Toa. You don't, you don't want to go full Haiji Toa. Look, let me introduce you. The Udaloid you two know is a cover. Tiki's true identity is a mirage. They record all her videos right here in the Bloom Palace. Welcome to the Bloom Palace. I was waiting for you, Big Brother. <laughs> God damn it. Big Brother. Wait, me too? If I'm not supposed to call Toma that, can you be my Big Brother instead? <laughs> this is disturbing on so many levels. Uh, well, uh, no. I can't. Oh, uh, I guess I don't mind if that's what you want to call me. My God. You might be overdoing it a little. Oh, thanks for telling me that Subasa was in danger back there. I didn't do anything worth thanks. That's all I could really do. I wish I could have gone to help, but all I can do is stay here and pray that everyone comes back safely. What do you mean by that? It means that all she can do is stay here and pray that everyone comes back safely. I'm a little different from the others. I'm bound to this place. Wait, um... Big brother, do Krom and Sita still have their memories? They both said they have no idea why they're here. It sounded like they couldn't remember much. I knew it. Wait a minute. Tiki, aren't you missing your memories too? Or are you missing your memories too? Hmm? I don't know why, but all Mirages have lost their memories of the past. We're like Blades and Xenoblade Chronicles too. That must be scary for you. Yeah. Thanks for worrying about me, big brother. But I'm okay. We found Krom and Sita. And you and Tsubasa seem like nice people. So I'm really happy. Oh, 
Aw, Tiki, you're such a sweet girl. I'll be sure to come visit you every day. Thanks, Subasa. Oh, but you don't call her big sister. Okay, fine. Well, I think that about does it for introductions. Tiki, you want to give them an explanation on unity? 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 You know you have Performa, right? Well, Performa is like the power of the human soul to express itself. We fuse Performa with people and mirages to awaken new power within them. That ritual is called Unity! Awaken new power? Hmm, well I guess you could just say it makes you stronger. I can't really fight like the other mirages can, but I can perform unity rituals for you here. So, let's perform unity right now, okay? You might want to change how you structure that sentence, just saying. Welcome to the Bloom Palace, the miraculous stage where Performa blossoms. Guess what, big brother? You can perform a new unity. That's called Carnage Unity. <laughs> These names, I forgot all about them. Carnage Unity is a ritual of fusing mirages with Performa obtained from enemies to change them into new Carnage. By performing Carnage Unity, more powerful Carnage can be acquired and new skills can be learned from them. This is an element that is a must to complete the game, so it's best that you make good use of it. Don't forget to check out the new Unity you can perform. All right, let's perform some un or Carnage Unity. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I think, yep, yep, they tell you, like, who has new ones. We're only going with Itsuki today. Move the cursor onto the carnage you want to learn more about and press Y to see the skills that can be learned from that carnage. Press X to check the details of performer needed for it. Self-explanatory, so, yeah, you know, this is essentially just, um, crafting. It's pretty great. Really not much we can get right now. Yeah, the, all right, well, yeah, nothing at all, really. Um, so yeah, only one thing we can get right now, and it is this iron sword. You would think, you know, the falchion would be better than an iron sword if you played anything from Fire Emblem. But hey, you know, th this, is, this is Tokyo Mirage Sessions. We gotta go with know what's going on here uh, so yeah these are the skills we can learn from it and we can look at the details I mean we obviously have everything we need so let's do it yes confirmed okay so iron sword is this right yeah it's stronger okay let's perform unity I do like how you can sort of see them taking the essence out of the enemies. It's, it's a nice little touch. The new Carnage Iron Sword has been made. Even if you continue using a Carnage that you've inherited all skills from, you will gain no new skills from it. You have a different Carnage whose inheritance has yet to be completed. Try using that one instead. So yeah, they really want you to uh, diversify to get as many skills as possible. You want to equip the Iron Sword we just made? Uh, yeah, it's stronger. It's key equipped Iron Sword. Through the effects of Carnage Unity, the Mirage awakens to a new skill. Chrome, Chrome, I knew I was gonna fuck that up at one point. Chrome can now use the special performance, Empty Wave. All right, so now we can just leave out of here. We're all set. And then we also have Q&A if you have some questions. Uh, oh, wow. The, yeah, they go in depth. I mean, we kind of already know the basics of all of this, but let's get some hints on Performa. 
in the Unity screen, you can check details on the performer needed to perform that Unity. Hence, for obtaining them, mainly locations and enemies that have them will be displayed. Make good use of this when searching for the uh, four performa. If only more RPGs did that for crafting purposes. If only. Looks angrily at Kingdom Hearts 1. God, making Ultima Weapon in that game was a fucking hassle. Uh, Alright, and then Q&A on Carnage that? Unity. I mean... Well, we know those. We. It's pretty much it. Well, powering up skills is new. If you learn a skill that you already have, that skill will power up. For example, if you already have Zeo and you learn another Zeo, it will power up to Zeo plus one. Uh, <laughs> I love when, like, the weapon power-ups are just basic as hell like that. Like, we're not Final Fantasy up here with, like, Zeo Ra, Zeo Ga. Like, nah, it's, it's, it's just Zeo plus one. <laughs> when skill powers up, there are plenty of benefits, such as an increase in effect and decrease in EP cost. Hell yeah. However, some skills, such as passive skills that change the compatibility of affinities, will not power up. Because that would be cheating. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all I can really do, but I'm happy as long as I can help you all, even if it's just a little bit. We're more than grateful for the help, Tiki. Great! I'll make sure to do my best. Alright, so, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for in here. Is there even anything we can examine? I'm not seeing the... Marker, alright. I mean, we, we can talk if we want to. There's really not much to say. Hmm? hmm? Looks like Miss Maiko's back. She said there's something she wants to talk to us about, so we better head back to the office. You're going already? Sorry, I promise I'll come visit again. I mean, I'll have to for better weapons. Me too. I'll definitely be back soon. Okay. I'll be waiting. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye, trash lolly. Yeah, I said it. Yahoo! Hey there. Hey there, best character. Miss Maiko, you're so mean. Why did you tell me about the production company before? Oh, relax. I didn't want to overload you guys. Too much information at once can be a bad thing. Yeah, that's why you gotta space it out. Anyway, I just booked a lesson for you, Subasa. A lesson? That's right. Dancing and voice training. I decided we're going to debut you as an idol. I think we're gonna go with the pure and innocent image for you. What? But this is all so sudden. I... I... Better get used to it, Tsubasa. This is exactly how Miss Maiko likes to run this place. What about the Mirage attacks? Unfortunately, we have no idea when the next attack might be. So in the meantime, let's start your training. Trust me, you'll make a great idol, Tsubasa. My radar is never wrong about someone's star potential. Uh... You know, if you work as an idol for Fortuna, it'd probably be a lot easier for you to meet with Kiria. <laughs> the drop of a dime. That was quick. Sure was. By the way, you'll be going through singing and dancing training too, Itsuki. Huh? Me? Yes, you. Training as a performer will keep your abilities as a Mirage Master as well, so it's worth your time. What exactly does that mean? 
Your power as a Mirage Master is dependent on your abilities as a performer. Hence, performa. What do you mean, as a performer? Some of the earliest records of the performing arts come from dance as a part of religious rituals. The idea was to call the power of the gods into the performer. Invocation of spirits, if you like. For example, like the, um... Oh, no, no, I was about to call it hockey. That's, um, the power in One Piece. Oh, like, uh, is it called the Haka? Haka? H-A-K-A? Like, the little, like, warrior dance that's, like, done in, uh, the Samoan Islands? But yeah, you know, like, the little war dance things and stuff. Like, they're, yeah, they're, they're bringing history into this. You know, and the fact that dancers are always in Fire Emblem games and they are, like, very powerful units to have. Not for, you know, like, offensive, but for allowing your other units to attack twice. Call upon the power of spirits. Kind of like Mirage Master's power. There's a dance in no theater called... I was going to let her say it because I'm going to butcher that. Where the performer calls upon a god. It's a little like that. だから歌、演技、楽器演奏、芸術、芸能に関わる技術を磨けば神よ。簡単に言っちまえば、エンターテイナーとしてすごい奴はマスターとしても強い。私たちが表向き芸能事務所をやってるのも伝えやすい教じ
I probably destroyed her name. Kane? 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 Whatever. Oh, Itsuki! What brings you here? You always leave right when school's over. You busy with work? Hey, are you interested in fortune telling? I got something you can help me with. Is that alright? Yes. See, I'm the president of the fortune telling club, and I want to practice my gift, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that's not even an innuendo, but okay. And that's where you can help out. All you gotta do is let me look into your future, and then you report back after. Alright then, I'll tell you your fortune. But take a step back, it's dangerous. Huh? Huh? Eh? Eureka! Approach with modesty, and outcomes shall be favorable. Approach with haste, and nothing shall go as planned. Or I guess if you want the quick fix, as it were, then you should go forth. Onward to die Thomas Round Elevator. And, uh, that's all there is to it. See? Great. I look forward to your full report. Requests that have been accepted and are currently underway will be displayed as green icons. When the conditions of the request have been fulfilled, the icon will turn purple. Speaking to the character in this condition will complete the request. The current state of requests can be checked from the map as well. Okay. Round elevator. Um... Guess I gotta... Oh, okay, yeah, because I can enter from right there. Why does this phone keep ringing? What the heck, man? Yeah, okay, no, that's another robocall. I can tell by the number. Virtual for... Oh, wait, we already saw those, and they're not going to talk about nothing. Yeah, just basic stuff. These are basic high school girls. Okay, well yeah, we can enter through here. Let's go. So I need to get to the round elevator. Oh, and I do have everybody in my party. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. No need to show off the fights. But experience is good, and leveling up my skills. Oh, special performances can now be used. Special performances are skills that use the SP gauge located in the upper right of the screen. Special performances can trigger sessions while ignoring affinities, and many have powerful effects unlike other skills. The SP gauge will fill as you perform actions or connect sessions during a battle. Yeah, I would rather wait for like, an actual, like, important battle where that would be more useful as opposed to these trash mobs. So yeah, uh, excuse me. There we go, new skill already, right off the bat. We got... Zip! Oh wait, no, that's Zio. I, I, I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. <laughs> this text is tiny, okay? Zio has powered up, skills power increase. Is this okay? Uh, yes. It's more than okay. HP and EP can be healed with items or skills as well as using facilities located in the city, such as the cafe and vending machines. If you feel that the investigation of a dungeon has become too much, it is best to not push yourself any further Return to the city. I ain't no punk, though. Alright, so round elevator. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oh, um, new element. Since the enemy's remaining HP decreased to zero during the session, an overkill occurred. When overkill is active, the remaining attacks in that session will ignore the enemy's resist slash null slash repel slash drain. I mean, okay. I mean, that is a thing, but it's also kind of pointless to an extent because you've already killed them, but whatever. I'm really trying to think. I don't remember Overkill being like... 
a really like major game changer? I'm 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 trying to. Eh, we'll, we'll see as I play more of the game. Memory is hazy because I have no clue where like any of the requests are aside from like some basic ones. Yeah, this is the round elevator. Yep, there we go. Obtained consumable item, treasure key. Hey, I guess Kanai's fortune was right. After all, I should report back. Hmm, I heard a rumor there was an interesting place around here, but this is just a disappointment. Everyone else here is weak. I can't have any fun here. Hmm, I'm bored. I need some spice in my life. Somewhere more exciting. She's not wrong, though. Everybody here is weak. Should I? Eh, yeah, why not? I'm just gonna be walking back anyway to the exit. Might as well cut ahead. There's no point in me, like, keeping all this in. <laughs> Alright, we can leave now. Welcome back. So how'd it go? Itsuki told Kanai that she accurately predicted a fortunate outcome. Really? Huzzah! It worked. You know, Itsuki, this means now you have to acknowledge my gift. Call me Kanai the Sooth Teller. Sooth? It's Sooth Sayer, but okay. Phew. All right. See you in class. Request complete. Obtained. Kitty candy as thanks. Informed man. Just the other day, if everyone passed out at once, you think it was some chemical warfare thing? Not quite. Also, that is a reference to real life events. That, huh? All right. Um, but yeah, let's just check out those consumables we got first. Kitty candy. Very slightly restores HP. Treasure key. Opens locked boxes. So yeah. Oh, and also we got the wardrobe here. Wait, I already showed this off last time. Damn it, because I don't have anything new. All right, so um, yeah, I'd say this is a good enough place to stop. Next time we're gonna go to the studio. I don't have much else to say about this. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. <laughs> have a great day. We begin our idle training on the morrow. See you all then for more Let's Play Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore. Goodbye. <laughs>